talk. Okay, go ahead. Okay. One of the arguments that the uh, anti-nukes had in the beginning was that uh, plutonium was not natural and therefore it had to be sinful since it was man-made. And uh, what we finally wound up proving was that it was natural. There was a natural reactor at Oklo in Africa, in the, in the Gabon, back uh, about three million years ago. Uh, at that time, the, well, first enrichment. Uranium is uh, seven-tenths of a percent U-235, the fissionable atom. And the rest of it, 238, is pretty much inert. In order to make a reactor go, you either have to have uh, uh, the proper moderator <clears throat> and careful placement of the uranium, or you have to have the uranium enriched so there's more uh, fertile material, more... Um, fissionable material, 235. And uh, three million years ago, uranium was, did have more 235 than it does now, because the 235 has been slowly decaying over the centuries. So there was a location in uh, Africa where the, the uh, uranium ore was rich enough in 235 and it was in a uh, water course, so it had water for a moderator, that uh, it, made, it made a natural reactor. It, uh, and it ran, as I said, for on and off for something like three million years. It would, um, it would run, according to the evidence, until it boiled the water away, and then it would shut down and then the water would come back and it would start up again. And uh, they think that ran for about 300,000 years. And they still, that's a truck. They, uh, they discovered this by uh, discovering that the, the uh, Uranium enrichment was different in this pocket than it was in natural uh, locations. Also, there were uh, fission products which do not occur naturally anywhere. So that destroyed the argument that uh, plutonium was not natural. That's enough of that. So do you want to go and talk about um, coming out to yeah, okay. Atomics can, Internet yeah, if you back want? Back to my, uh, my history. In uh, the summer of uh, 1955, I came to uh, California, to uh, Woodland Hills and Santa Susana, to work on the sodium reactor experiment. At that time, they were just building the building, so I got to watch the uh, building go up and uh, take enough pictures so we could figure out what was going on later. Later, The um, reactor started up and operated in uh, 1957 and um, operated on and off. It was designed as a fuel test bed. We um, put different kinds of fuel in, ran the reactor for a day or two or a week, and shut it down, took the fuel out, analyzed it to see what, uh, what had happened to it. And this went on for uh, four years. Then um, 
we got the uh, sodium graphite reactor in uh, Hallam, Nebraska up and running or ready to run and I went to Nebraska in the summer July of uh, 61 to uh, direct the construction completion the uh, startup testing and uh, operation of uh, the reactor. Hallam was a uh, 70 megawatt electric uh, generating plant, uh, graphite moderated, uh, not, um, enriched uranium fuel. And um, it ran for a couple of years until the, um, the graphite moderator cans broke from um, fatigue flexing test, fatigue, and allowed sodium to leak into the uh, graphite moderators, which uh, shut down the reactor. And the DOE by that time had uh, moved on to other priorities, so they decided that uh, they didn't want to spend a million dollars uh, putting in new moderator. 